Aquarius, welcome back to Shacey Tarot. For those of you that are returning and for those of you that are brand new, welcome to the channel. I hope you're doing well. Thank you for your patience and waiting for your updated reading. This is for anyone with a uh, Aquarius placement, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on. Wow. You may have closed a chapter recently in your life or you've gone through a lot of lessons or you want to travel around the world. It's like you're waiting for something to happen. Spirit wants you to know your ships are coming in. They're coming in. Let's see what's going on. So you've gone through a lot of lessons or you will be going through a lot of lessons. And once you learn those lessons, Spirit's saying things will start to progress forward for you. Look at that. I shuffled again and the Three of Wands came out again. So definitely a significant message here. Okay, you're kind of waiting for that very deep spiritual connection. Somebody you have that soul to soul bond with. Okay, you may have had a lot of conflict in your life. There could be a lot of challenges in your life right now. Maybe you're waiting to get through those. What are these challenges here for, Aquarius? You're indecisive of what to do. You're not really sure, okay? We've got the Two of Swords and the Moon. So I feel like some of you are really kind of not sure how to overcome these challenges in a deep connection you have. You're kind of wondering what should you do now? This can also represent that there's too many people involved in your relationship, okay? And that could be blocking you. It could be blocking this connection, okay? Spirit's asking you to trust your intuition here and to how to in order to how to come in order to come over these these challenges that you're going through. We can't allow other people to keep interfering. It can cause all kinds of challenges in any connection, whether that's family, friends, a love a love connection. Okay, um, this connection is supposed to be between two people. But what's happening here is, again, you know, there's too many people involved. It could be family, friends, could be anybody here. And, and each one of you are going to be different. So take what resonates for your situation. While I have you here, please don't forget to hit the like button. It's a fantastic and free way to support these free readings. I really appreciate it. And uh, let's go ahead and see what we're so indecisive about with the Two of Swords, please, for Aquarius. What do we need to know? What do we need to know about Aquarius with the Two of Swords? And remember, this can go vice versa. Okay, so Seven of Swords. I'm trying to figure out a way to get away from these challenges, this chaos. It's like you're waiting to get away from other people that are blocking you from going towards a deep connection that you feel attached to. Clarify the Seven of Swords, please, for Aquarius. Wow. Okay, interesting. So we've got the Ten of Pentacles. So you want to go towards where you feel like you can have it all. Where you feel like you can have this deep connection plus like a solid long-term stability. A family, house, home, whatever it is you want. You want something structured, something solid. Okay, and it's like you're waiting, you're thinking about how to get away from a situation that you're really finding quite challenging right now. Clarify the Ten of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles, yeah, you're, you're trying to sneak off. You're trying to get away from this. You're not happy where you are, okay, is what I'm getting. You're not fulfilled where you are. You're trying to get away from somebody. Look at that, we've got the Three of Wands again, once from the 1960s deck and once from the 1970s deck. Okay, it's like you're just waiting, strategizing, trying to figure it out. Okay, you want to go towards your destiny. You want to go towards your soulmate. Okay, you want to get away from this chaos, this drama. Hmm, so there's too many people involved in your life is what I'm getting. Remember, this can be vice versa. Let's see what's going on in your energy, your overall energy. For Aquarius, what are the messages, please? What's going on in Aquarius' energy? Okay, so some of you are trying to figure it out and some of you are kind of like, I don't know whether I should open that door or not. Again, because I'm, you know, I'm not really sure what's on the other side of that gate once I decide to go through it. So some of you could be going through a breakup or walking away from a situation where, again, it's just too intense, it's too involved. You could be trying to reject somebody and they, they won't leave you alone. They're jealous, they're argumentative, they don't want to let you go. So some of you are trying to figure out how to get away from this situation, but you're feeling quite blocked. And again, I feel for some of you, it's because you're not really sure what's on the other side of that gate once you decide to make that decision. But one thing is clear. 
you want to go towards your destiny, who you're meant to be with, what you're meant to do, where you're meant to go. And you just want to be where you feel like you can just be your true, true self. And you want to find your happiness. And you're kind of waiting to try and figure out what is the best thing to do, right? Okay, let's go ahead and pull three guidance messages for you. I'm going to pull a love guidance advice message for you and mutual energies between you and whoever is on your mind. So that just went flying. You can hit the more button anytime you want after this reading is complete. And there you will find different options. If you want a personal reading, they are open at shacy.com. And thank you to those of you who sent in a coffee donation. It's very sweet of you. Never expected, but always appreciated. Thank you for doing that. So these are the tarot charms that we're going to pull as well. And a love guidance and advice message for you as well. Let's see what's going on. What's the love guidance and advice message, please? For Aquarius, what do they need to know? What are the messages, please? What are the updated messages from the last reading? Wow, you got two messages today. Holy cow. Well, we have new love. So definitely you're, some of you are trying to go towards somebody you have a very deep connection with here. And, you know, you, you just, you're feeling blocked at the moment and trying to figure out how to go towards it. Okay, so Spirit's saying this is a new passionate beginning with a soulmate, divine partner, or twin flame. A new relationship or connection is manifesting. This could be a relationship going to the next level or reigniting of passion. This may pertain to a friendship turning into love. Okay, so some of you, again, have a very deep spiritual connection. Some of you could be dealing, um, well, you're definitely here, Aquarius, with the star energy here, a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Um, I also have Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. Yeah. Okay, influencing factors is the next message. A physical imbalance in finances or career is affecting this relationship. This could be a work-life imbalance. This may pertain to your relationship being influenced or affected emotionally because of religious or spiritual factors. So for some of you, it can be that there's conflict in your family over going towards this connection because you have different beliefs or different upbringings that, that's causing an imbalance. It could be your finances, your career. Okay, so some of you um, may feel like you won't have enough financially and you're just, whatever is happening here, you are definitely trying to, to figure out what to do. And what definitely is clear to me is that you want to get away from the conflict because you feel like it's blocking this very deep connection you have. And again, like you're, you are not satisfied with where you are. You could be rejecting somebody at this time, trying to leave them out in the cold, but they are not letting you go is what I'm getting for some of you. Okay, let's go ahead and pull the tarot charms now. So <laughs> this has been coming up a lot, the Eiffel Tower. So some of you may live there or be going towards the Eiffel Tower sometime maybe, maybe in the new year. Spirit doesn't want you to lose hope okay is what i'm getting that you are being guided by angel gabrielle here okay patience and timing is here uh as well okay you're being guided to temper your emotions and to try and figure out you know how to get out of your situation in a positive way and being your true authentic self with the star energy here and to remain hopeful here. Yeah, we have the bow and arrow. So there's definitely somebody you want to shoot that arrow of passion and love towards. And you want to, I feel, ultimately anchor a connection. Somebody that you are uh, very uh, passionate about. Okay, some of you could be dealing with somebody with the name of Beth, Ian. I also have James. This is a person you have memories with already currently or you want to make memories with. That's the camera right there. Spirit wants you to imagine what this connection could be like and remain hopeful and patient and, you know, keep trying to figure and strategize a way to move forward here and anchor a connection that you do feel deeply connected to and um, that these influencing factors will not last forever. There's a need to wait right now, um, but also, you know, staying in your comfort zone for too long, being afraid to look outside the box and turning a blind eye to issues and problems is not going to help either. Okay, so that's what spirit is saying. 
there is hope and a connection. So don't lose hope is what I'm getting. All right, let's pull your um, oracle messages here from the Mystic Forest. First message, inner strength. There you go. Don't lose yourself in things you can't change. Focus on the things you can change. Attitude, mindset, and energy. You've got everything you need. Okay, so I feel like spirit is saying don't lose hope here because you have everything you need. Don't allow yourself to get overwhelmed, you know, by the things you can't change right now, but focus on the things you can change right now and continue to move forward. Okay, next message. You are complete. You are not broken. Nothing's wrong with you. Don't spend your life fixing problems. Dwell in the beauty of your being. You are enough now and always. So spirit is definitely saying you have a lot of inner strength, that you're very capable of moving towards your um, your happiness, you know. Uh, again, you know, Aquarius, you are the star energy. So spirit wants you to, to recognize that as long as you're truthful, you're authentic, and you continue to go towards your happiness and your growth, and you, you remain authentic in everything you're doing, that you should be able to to go towards your happiness now and always that you've got everything you need okay again focusing on the things you can change not the things you can't right now maybe in future you'll be able to change some of those things and and that's why temperance is here with angel gabrielle because that's almost that's always about patience and timing and you know kind of keeping our emotions in check while we take those steps towards our growth and our happiness okay whatever you wish when you lessen the importance of problems and suffering, life will swing back into balance. Stop the struggle and feel peace. The world responds to you. Okay, so whenever you get the Four of Cups, this is my negative Nancy or negative Andrew uh, energy here. Spirit is saying if we focus too much on what was and not what could be, we are going to miss out on the life that we are meant to live, not the life that we necessarily expected. Okay, so start focusing on the positive, not the negative, is the message here, I feel. And remember, these messages can always be vice versa. If it's not your energy, it's the other person's energy I'm picking up. So continue to move forward and go towards your destiny and figure a way out one step at a time so that you can experience growth and happiness and go towards, you know, a connection that is meant for you. Okay? That's what I have for you, Aquarius. I hope this resonates for most of you, all of you. Sending you much love, much light. Again, don't forget to the like button. Subscribing is absolutely free. I will see you all again next time. Bye for now.